Hey everyone, North Korea is very much like a petulant attention-seeking child and this week they got annoyed because we've been paying too much attention to the other children, I mean countries, mostly the rolling human tragedy unfolding in Venezuela. Of course, if North Korea was a badly behaved child in the back of a car, I suppose they might have shouted some swear words, but that's more of an Anthony Scaramucci thing really. He was sacked this week, uh, forced to go just after 10 days, uh, milk that lasted longer than some people in the White House. But back to North Korea, they're not actually a metaphorical child. They're a dangerous country with a military and a missile program, so they decided to tell the world that they're soon going to be able to launch a nuclear weapon at New York. And that's pretty worrying because, as the song says, if you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. Uh, let's just hope that with regards to the US responds to the threat in a calm and rational way. Um, with regards to the economic collapse I mentioned underway in Venezuela, President Trump decided to throw economic sanctions into the ring, so who knows where it will go. Perhaps China will be cajoled into dealing with it in exchange for Trump Patel loyalty points or something. Of course, I should add that none of this really matters in the real world because I just looked at the BBC's front page and they're actually leading with a different story, one about making washing machines marginally more eco-friendly. Uh, top investigative journalism there, chaps. Huh? The Daily Mail, in contrast, is leading with photos of Cristiano Ronaldo's pregnant wife and the Daily Sport as well. That's not family-friendly, so I'll stop this, I think. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.